Hey everybody, it's Miss Gretchen. Are you ready for another week of activities? Well, guess what? There's something that's gonna be different about this week. We'll get to that in a minute. But let's get started with our calendar. What month are we in? April. All right. We're getting closer to the end. So last time we got together was on this day. And that's when we did a Zoom session together. So we have got some numbers to add today. So are you ready? There's a lot of them. Take a deep breath. Ready? Here we go. And 27. Good job. That was a lot of counting. You worked hard on that one. All right. If today's number is 27, what was yesterday's number? 26. If today's number is 27, what will tomorrow's number be? 28. Good job. And it's the beginning of the week, so it's a Monday. Ready? Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. There are seven days, there are seven days, there are seven days in the week. All right, it's a Monday today. What day was yesterday? Sunday. It's a Monday today. What will tomorrow's day be? Monday, Monday, Tuesday. Good job. Oh, do you see these question marks? I wonder what they are. There's two of them and they're two days in a row. There is something special going on at our house on those days. So you keep thinking about it and you'll find out on Wednesday, okay? So, oh, I have a question for you. What season are we in? We are in the season of spring. And we have all these new leaves and some flowers coming up, but what about the temperature outside. The weather has been kind of funny, hasn't it? Spring is where it's starting to get warmer because we're going to move into summer. But has it been warm outside? Just a little bit. It's been kind of cold, but I think it's going to change. So keep watching and hopefully we get some warmer weather. Okay, I know the past few days, a little bit over the weekend, was a little on the chilly side, but it should be getting warmer. Okay, all right, let's get started. To start off the week, let's get started with a new letter this week. I can't wait to see which one it is. All right, ready for a little mat man?
Good job. I heard you. Okay, what's the next song? Good job, doggies. All right, here he comes. job you guys I could hear you it was so nice all right ready to see what letter we are on here we go Guess what? It's our last letter. I told you this was going to be something different about this week. This is our last letter. Can you believe it? We have made it through the whole alphabet. But how do we make the letter Z? 
Where do we start our letters? At the top. The first thing we need is a little line across the top. Oops, I lost my little line. Little line across the top. All right, next thing we need is a big line down on the diagonal. See that? And then the third thing we need is a little line across the bottom. Very good. So little line across the top, big line down on the diagonal, and a little line across the bottom. And there you have the letter Z. Do you like my hat? Who might wear a hat like this? Well, it might be a place you like to go to in Nashville, walk around and look at animals. The zoo. Guess what letter zoo starts with? Our letter of the week, Z. What fun. So a zookeeper takes care of animals and I thought we could play a game called charades. So I am going to act out with actions or movements and with sounds an animal and you need to guess it, okay? So are you ready? Okay, I have a lot of hair around my head here. Ready? Roar! Did you guess it? What animal am I? Did you guess a lion? <laughs> Good job. So there are a number of different animals that you could be. You could play this game with your family. So there'll be a sheet to print out, cut them up, put them in a pile, and have fun being a zookeeper. To continue with our zoo theme, I have an activity for you to create your own zebra. This guy is missing some stripes. Can you make some stripes on him? What you're going to need to do is you're going to need to take a white crayon and you are going to have to make some lines on your zebra. Once you cover that area, get out your watercolors. And remember, water, paint, paper. Water, paint, paper. So pick a color or multiple colors. And let's make those stripes appear, okay? <gasps> So, water, paint, paper. And you will be able to see the stripes on your zebra. Do you see what kind of stripes I did? It's not a straight line, it's called a zigzag. And zigzag starts with the letter Z. So, my zebra is full of zigzag stripes. <laughs> so, have fun designing your own zebra. I just used the word zigzag when I made my zebra. So, I thought we could make a zigzag. Have you ever made a zigzag before? Well, there is a page that you can get printed and it's a bunch of zigzags. So you can do it one of two ways. You can color it first or cut it out. I went ahead and I cut mine out first. So I know it's a lot of cutting, but you're gonna work those muscles in your hands and it's gonna be so awesome because it's gonna pay off and you're gonna have an awesome looking 
zigzag. So once you cut them out, you are going to join them to make one big long zigzag. If you have some paper that's long enough, you can put them on the piece of paper, but guess what? I don't have any paper at home that's long enough, so I'm just gonna connect them together with a little glue. So I'm just gonna put a little glue on the end here and I'm going to connect my zigzags. Okay? So one big long zigzag. Now let's practice coloring some zigzags. How do you want to color yours? I bet you can make it pretty colorful. So I'm going to practice making those lines going up and down and I'm just going to keep on going. Guess what? I'm going to switch colors and I'm just going to, I think I'm going to do every color in my pencil box here, my crayon box. And just keep going with the zigzags. All right. You can make a pretty awesome looking zigzag. All right, there's the start of mine. So have fun making your zigzags. I just have two more activities for you today before we read a book. The first one is don't forget to practice writing your names two times, okay? And the other one is a letter search. So this has to do with two different letters, the letter Z for this week. And remember, we did the letter X a couple weeks ago. So when you look in this box, you are going to circle or color over the letter Z's in red. And when you look at the box and you're looking for the letter X's, you are going to circle or color the letter X in blue. Okay, so I'm going to start off with red and that is the letter Z. So I'm going to go around and I'm going to circle all the Z's I can find. Okay, I know that there's a few more but I wanted to show you. My Z's are in the letter, the color red. And now I'm gonna do some X's in the color blue. So when I look around and I see some X's, I'm going to circle them in the color blue. All right, so I did a few there for you to see. I know there's more on there, so good luck trying to find them all. The book I have for you today is Put Me in the Zoo by Robert Lopshire. And another one of these kind of Dr. Seuss books where I think it would be fun if I didn't read it to you, but if you listen to it, someone else telling it to you. All right.
take them off, and I can make them very small. And now you see, I take them off, and I can make them very tall. And when I want to have more fun, I take my spots and make them one. Yes, they should put me in the zoo. The things my spots and I can do. See, I can put them in a box. I take them out, they look like socks. And I can put them way up high. Up, up they go. I make them fly. I put them high up in the air. My spots fly here, my spots fly there. I call them back now, one, two, three. Now all my spots are back with me. Tell me, tell me now, you two. Do you like the things I do? Tell me, tell me now, you two. Will they put me in the zoo? We like all the things you do. We like the like spots. We like, we like you too. too. But you should not be in the zoo. No, you should not be in the zoo. With all the things that you can do, the circus is the place for you. Yes, this is where I want to be. The circus is the place for me. Well, my friends, that's all I have for you today. I have some more fun Z activities for you when we meet up in a couple days. Oh, and we'll find out what those question marks are all about. I wonder. So, keep making good choices. And I miss you guys. And I'll see you soon. Bye.